Sergeant Bergdahl was released prematurely from U.S. Coast Guard uh, boot camp at Cape May, New Jersey, because of uh, a psychological or psychiatric incident. Uh, that, in turn, required him to get a waiver in order to be enlisted in the Army. For reasons I'm unable to explain, he was given that waiver. The Army has said, well, we think it was an okay thing to do. That will be an issue at the trial. Bo Bergdahl's lead defense attorney, Eugene Fidel, talking to the PBS NewsHour about what he is characterizing as Bergdahl's mental illness. According to recently released Army transcripts, Bergdahl's psych eval a psychiatric evaluation from July of last year shows that he was diagnosed with schizotypal personality disorder, which demonstrates eccentric behavior and magical thinking. Bergdahl claims in those transcripts that he deserted because he wanted to expose holes in the chain of command at his post. Something we need to talk about now uh, from Newsmax Washington with retired U.S. Army Colonel Patrick Murray, who served in Iraq, in Russia, and at the United Nations. He's also the author of the book, Government is the Problem. Uh, Patrick, do you buy this defense that uh, mental illness is to blame? Good evening, J.D. No, I think this is a diagnosis in search of a, of a case. Look, this came over six years, this uh, Army Sanity Board evaluation, after Bo Bergdahl, then Private First Class Bergdahl, deserted his crew, his unit, and uh, subsequently was captured by the Taliban and held for five years. So I think, I think this is very much after the case, and I think that their defense is trying to play this out in the court of public opinion. Fair enough. We will continue to monitor this and get your reaction in the days to come as these proceedings continue. Let us talk about the fight against ISIS in Europe because it's something very important we also need to address, Patrick. Uh, Belgian police recently raided an apartment linked to the Paris attacks, finding ISIS flags and ammunition, killing one suspect, but two others escaped. Uh, does this tell you that there are going to be more attacks by ISIS in Europe? That's exactly what it leads us to believe, J.D. There were also, uh, there was a dawn raid in Paris where they seized four people, three men and a, wo and a woman with ties to ISIS. And uh, uh, Hollande, the French president, said that they are on a very high state of alert right now in, in Paris. This is Europe-wide. And, uh, and it's also a significant concern here in the United States. And it just speaks to the tireless efforts that our, that our FBI, our police force, and, and those in Europe are having to deal with right now uh, with this threat from ISIS. About a minute and a half remains, Patrick, and there, there may be a glimmer of hope in all of this for Europe and for the United States, and that is the fact that uh, uh, our allies got their hands on a memory stick with, what, 22,000 names of uh, ISIS contacts? What does that score mean in terms of uh, hunting down these ISIS contacts, these perhaps uh, terrorists in waiting? Well, that's exactly right, J.D. This happened last week, and it could go a long ways to helping us uh, roll up some potential ISIS recruits and, and potential lone wolf attackers, which is what we saw in San Bernardino. Uh, it's a valuable trove of intel. We need to continue to press on these guys all over the world because they're going to continue to press on us. Your enemy gets a vote, and our enemy is ISIS. They've told us they're coming after us, and we need to be vigilant. Patrick, we were taking a look at, the, at uh, this information or these requests made in English. It looked like they were filling out a rather complete resume. If they filled in all the blanks, it should give us a pretty clear picture. Final 15 seconds to you for the last word. Well, that speaks to how organized ISIS is. J.D., they're more than just a terrorist organization. These guys are a budding state. And the level of organization that it shows in their recruiting process is exemplary of that. And we will have to leave it there. Colonel Patrick Murray tonight from Newsmax, Washington. Again, the name of his book is Government is the Problem. When we come back, problems and challenges politically with our political panel. <laughs>